Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm T1P, and uh, this is a special video. I haven't done one like this before, <clears throat> but I just got turned on to a product that is in open beta right now, which means that anybody can go and download it, and I'm going to encourage them to, uh, because from now until December, I believe, there's actually a deal where you can get a lifetime membership to this software and uh, it's completely worth it in my opinion um, everybody is going to want to be a part of this community because as small as it is it's already amazing and uh, you get a few more people in there and it's just it's just going to blow up so the name of the software is called Ohm Studio and it is from the guys and girls over at Ohm Force, which I'm sure you're familiar. If you make music or use plugins at all, um, Ohm Force makes some really amazing plugins, and now they have their own DAW. And the unique thing about this DAW is that it's not intended to be a replacement for your current workstation. You know, I use Ableton and Reason and uh, I'm, I don't have to give those up. Those are, that's my main workstation. The main thing with Ohm Force Ohm Studio is it is a collaborative work environment. And as you're working, all of your information gets saved to the internet to their servers and if you have a membership there's no limit to the amount of space that you can take up you can upload as much as you want um, and the workstation looks like a you know any other digital audio workstation in every regard except for the social media aspects of it uh, and this software is really intended to put uh, creators together, not just producers, but songwriters, singers, guitarists, drummers. If you can do something with music and you get Ohm Studio and you can record yourself, uh, there are people on there that are specialized in mixing. There's people that are just producers so they know what to do with it and you get hooked up with them and you can come up with some stuff that you wouldn't be able to do otherwise so I'm gonna show you the stuff a little bit here and uh, I'll just get to it alright so here we have the main interface of Ohm Studio this is a little help window over here that won't be here all the time. This is when you first start and you need some help. Uh, this is the EQ unit that comes preloaded in the software there. And down here you have your mixer. You can see it looks like most in the other digital audio workstation. You have your your faders volume control, solo and mute buttons, pan buttons, set pan to dual or mid side mode which is a nice feature. You can just turn off whether it's going to the master here. Uh, you can add send, the send tracks that go out here. You add your inserts in here and this is where all your plugins go. I'm using battery 3 as my drums uh, audio tracks here's the main sequencer window you can see most of these are audio tracks at the moment it's because in the collaborative environment when you put up a MIDI track there's you know nothing saying that the person on the other end is going to have whatever plugin that you're using so 
you bounce it to audio whenever you're done with your MIDI work and in that way everybody can hear it and it becomes a part of the track then at that point over here is the social part of it and you can see here's a list of all of the people that are currently signed in to Ohm Studio and they are all chatting and uh, you know discussing different audio production techniques and things like that so that's a basic overview of this main area I mean the, the sequencer functions just like you would expect it to uh, if you have a MIDI track you just double click on it and it opens up the editing options and it you know, works just like any sequencer at that point so the n other nice thing about Ohm Studio is that because it's developed by the guys at Ohm Force this here you'll notice is preloaded with fromage, hematome, mini monster, ohm boys, omicide, oh my god, quad fromage multi. And if you are familiar with any, you know, third party VSTs, those are some of the biggies that you want to get your hands on. Really nice plugins, and they all come native inside Home Studio. There's Omicide right there. That is one sweet piece of equipment, and it's right inside Home Studio. And right now it's free. You know, you want to add in um, let's take a look at. Own boys. It's another popular one. Bang. Get that out. Just to give you an idea, here's what Omicide can do for your sound. Now, here's without homicide. Now, here's with homicide. big difference so you can see their plugins are amazing and I mean there are some drawbacks to the software in its current state there is no drum machine and there is no sampler but this is beta and remember uh, the full version isn't expected to be done until somewhere around December so get in on this and come and hang out even if you don't use this to track and, and you know and produce meeting the other producers that are in this community is completely worth it just I mean it's free I mean just get on there and come in and meet everybody and hang out and in the meantime try out all the plugins you know at the very least bounce some of your audio out of Ableton or Reason and bring it into Home Studio and run it through some of their sweet plugins so go and check it out www.homestudio.com and uh, find me on there I'm the only prophet and uh, let me know
All right, this is a little thing that uh, we did using Ohm Studio. It's an intro idea for a podcast uh, for a friend of mine. He hasn't accepted the idea yet, but uh, we'll see how it goes. Uh, I did this with the help of Andy MC. He's a prominent community member there at Ohm. So uh, give it a listen. See what you think.